and uh, let's um, keep going then. So yeah, you have a total of three successes, that's... Okay, you cut the muscles of her left leg at the knee and she... Uh, the leg just collapses under her. I told you to stay here. And you, uh, and you over there, I speaking to the uh, uh, the old guy. You are also under arrest, together with, but uh, but you will be brought brought to uh, t uh, but you will be brought to another uh, pr uh, you will be brought with a fr uh, to a friend of mine, and so will you. What was uh, what was uh, the girl's name again? Alicia. Yep. And so will you, Alicia. She, uh... I believe you know her very well. She looks at you with a mad hope in her eye. <laughs> uh, b uh, uh, br uh, bring them both, uh, br uh, bring them both to the car. You could stake them. You have enough stakes in the trunk of your well, car. Well, actually, Just yeah, let's, uh, let's stake them both. And also, <laughs> we need to clean up. Uh, we need to clean up Bronson's mess. Hearing about also, ramming a stake through his heart, Yosha tries to run, but Bronson manages to uh, tackle him and grab hold of him. He's now uh, wrestling the newly made vampire and holding him still for you. Also, the ba uh, I'm going. Uh, uh, I'm also the ba uh, bartender. What should we do about the bartender? <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> uh, also, do we have a? Uh, uh, I I will go get uh, get uh, uh, I'll go get some steaks. Stake the uh, the whatever the, uh, this uh, person's clan is, and the uh, uh, Alicia and the uh, newly made vampire. <laughs> and then I suggest uh, to Malik that he should go and. Um, uh, Malik, that he should go ahead and... Oh, Barton left? You didn't remove the bartender from here. Uh, did you actually roll for that? Bacon. I think that's a roll between my, uh, between my, uh, one of my, uh, one okay. success and my other rolls. He's in the back, getting mops for all the blood that inevitably will be spilled here. He knows how this goes by now. There will, it will only be uh, the guy, that one guy's brains on the uh, wall, which he yep. will probably got splattered by. Yep. He's been here before. This is a seedy <laughs> bar, right? So there is no cameras, right? Nope. This is where the, all the mafia meetings have been happening. <laughs> okay. Eddie knows okay. what's up. But he's, he's used to he's used to some some shit. He knows so we, that uh, Raffaello and Serath put... are mafia guys, so he thinks this is yes. just some showdown. <laughs> Essentially, I'm mistaking them, so he thinks we're killing them all. Oh, so and now we're going to drag away the. I'm going to have uh, tell you uh, tell you and Bronson to drag away the uh, living guys, <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, uh, going to uh, give him. Two hundred dollar. Uh, give the bartender two hundred dollars and tell him to get rid of uh, get rid of uh, the body. Yes, it's from my own personal cash. He mutters under his breath, "Bastard, Tony always pay Tony always paid more." <laughs> <laughs> I roll my eyes. <laughs> Meanwhile, someone smashes through the window. Because apparently blood can heal injuries like that. I told you I had staked her. Well, I'd gone and gotten some stakes and she staked them all. runs as you go off from her to uh, get the stakes. Well, fuck. Am I not close enough to dominate her before she does that? Uh, you were paying attention to Alicia, but luckily for you, she's impaled herself on glass shards, and uh, 
is badly damaged, struggling to pull herself together before one of you can catch up to her. You really should go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and sh uh, shoot her in the back, so she uh, shoot her in the back once. I mean, you can put her in torpor if you want. Well, may actually, probably not a good idea because maybe we shouldn't uh, bring her to the prince. It's kind of a personal matter. This uh, this entire thing. You know, bringing him a live enemy agent may well earn back his uh, smiley yeah, face. Yeah, but there's this. Uh, there's a little thing case. about there's a little thing about <clears throat> well I'm going to first I'm going to uh, go and uh, stab Alicia with the uh, throughout the heart with the stake about uh, during uh, during this and I'm going to toss one to uh, Malek. Okay, and I'm going to use a stake. She looks up at you and she says. You know you're essentially killing me, right, you bastard? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> does it look like we fucking care? <laughs> we are, they are sabbats, so she's a sabbat, you know? I kneel before her, and I say, good. <laughs> Do you you want... are one terrible before, person. Before, before staking her. <laughs> You know, she kind of thought you were supposed to be the humane ones. <laughs> you know, I, I lick her face before I do it. <laughs> oh my god, we are a terrible person. Okay. You lick her face. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. You already said it. It's done. Uh, oh my goodness. So you saw some glass. Please feel free to soak a point of lethal damage, and you can, of course, note down a blood bond, I think. Unless we're... you know, no. Blood bonds take more blood than that. You need at least one point. We're gonna go with that. But yeah. You managed to swallow some glass and, of course, it not being blood, you vomit it back up, but, you know, it's not exactly a pleasant experience. Also, reckless does, she have, does she happen to have any uh, blood bags on her, or uh, like Alicia, or the woman, or the ghoul, or any of them? Do you still need me to soak? I yeah, mean, can you soak. can if you want, but you don't have to. It's just flavor text. You sick fucker. That <laughs> he he says Latino. He's a or is he a Latino? You kind of said he is a black dog. Uh, the ghoul is black, but the um, a Sabbat vampire isn't. You know, you could always test her for generation, right? No, we're not going to eat her. We're going to either break. I might. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting addicted. No, you don't even give a fuck if you take a step up, do you? Oh my um... God. You really are the monster. It's her here. generation again. <laughs> uh, you need to what? roll. Stick a finger in the blood and roll a difficulty four. Willpower, that is. And spend a point. Does of he blood. have a path of blood? Yes, he does. Does he even have. Okay. You need to spend a blood point, roll a difficulty four, and uh, get dicky stuff on your fingers. You can tell that she is. Uh, higher generation than you. You can't tell exactly what, but she's somewhere in the neonate range. Like, really, really neonate range. Yeah, there's no reason to care about her at all. Anything, but we really should, I'm not sure if we should bother, uh, we should bring her, uh, <laughs> her before the prince, considering the business at hand. Oh, yes, no. I will bring Alicia to the, Alicia to the car. I put her in the trunk together with her lover there. Yeah, Bronze just enough? Uh, tosses Yosha over his shoulder and carries him out. Do I have enough dominate to uh, turn her slowly into my slave? <laughs> you need dominate four for that. But oh, okay. Again, you can always bloodbound, bloodbind her over several nights while she's staked. No, don't. We're not. We're not getting blood, a person bloodbound here. We're trying to. Either we're going to bring her before the prince, 
bring her to Alberta or no, or kill or kill her. What's the advantage of a bloodbind? Oh, she's been your... essentially your eternal servant. Well, not eternal, but you know, servant. I kind of want to do this. They're no, don't. Your, uh... Well, it's like Stockholm syndrome. They see you as this. You know, they essentially worship you. That's why your ghouls are your bitches. Because they're bloodbound. But you um, can do that. Oh my. You can do that to a vampire, too. Guys, give me a compelling reason not to. <laughs> the prince would because like a gift after they pissed him off. <laughs> well, one first not my first, if you if you blood bind her, things uh, the uh, the prince might start asking questions why you have a blood bound Sabbath uh, bef uh, in your uh, in your in our in your chantry rather than bringing her right before the prince, and the sheriff might start uh, asking questions about. What did happen to all the other Sabbaths that have uh, happened to enter our place? And what might happen? And uh, someone eventually might uh, clue in that you are a fucking uh, monster that die up the righteous people. Got it? You know, the prince specifically asked that, or the sheriff rather, at least, that, I think the prince mentioned it to you as well, Sarath, that yeah, I think so. live enemies are worth three times as much as dead enemies. So if you can bring him a live agent, that's worth every one of them that, that you capture alive is worth three that you kill, as far as he's concerned. Especially since okay, we'll, we'll take him to the we'll take her to the prince. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably ask Alberta if like if you mind if we bring her to the uh, her to the prince because or, or you want this to be uh, to be a secret. Yeah. But a but a Sabat spy could have been very useful. Uh, yes, but we should at least, either, if you did that, we would at least bring her to the prince first. So and he'd probably say no. To the uh, Torgel okay, we'll Elysium, then, I believe. <clears throat> yes, we go to the Torgel Elysium. Dragging in the uh, captured no, we are not through the front door. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not dragging in them. I'm going to talk to Corey over here, and I'm going to ask if there's a back door. That we can uh, you, uh, that we can use for less. I'm going to, first. I'm going to take him off to the side where there aren't that many uh, place where there aren't that many people as many people around. Okay. Well, I, do you have a back door here so we could uh, <clears throat> uh, do our uh, fulfill our mission with? Uh, our mission with Alberta in a more proper fashion, that, that without uh, without scaring everyone around here. The Sombra just waves at you, Malk, as she walks by. I nod to her. Aww. <laughs> I have Corey sick respond? Thoughts, By the way, what does Corey say now? Uh... What is this about? Uh, Alberta uh, this... said she wanted you in here for a task of some kind. Is that what this is about? You should probably just yes. go in and ask her how she wants to arrange it. Okay, I will do so then. Okay. We have both... Uh, we have the... No, uh, Raphael, you don't get to sit down. You're still, you're sta still going to sta be standing up. <laughs> yes, you are going to stand. <laughs> I'm glad, my dear, that you're finally bringing your people into <laughs> line. It's nice to see you finally assert yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she says this as I lean against the wall. Ahem. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Ravella just walks out. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have the we have both of the. Where the fuck is he going? Anyway, that's not my business right now. I have more important things to care, take care of. We have the uh, we have Alicia we have Alicia with us. She happens to be in the, in the trunk of the car right now, staked together with her 
love, which she, she apparently was, uh, has transformed into a vampire. God damn it, that fool of a girl. Oh, and to make it worse, it appears she was trying to join the Sabbath. We have a, we have the, we have we have the Sabbath she was trying to contact. Uh, uh, also in uh, also in the car. Staked. And I was wondering if you wanted to uh, uh, to keep this a secret, or if you if you care, if you cared if you brought her before the prince. She Fade just the uh, rubs the conflict. bridge of her nose for a minute or so. The prince has an annoying tendency to find out things you don't want him to know. I want Alicia alive. The prince will no doubt figure out that something weird has happened. We can't hide this. We shouldn't even try. The chance of actually succeeding is far too low. No. Drag her in through the front door. A little public embarrassment for her stupidity will help set her straight. Just what about the uh, what about Yusuf the mortal she embraced? Bring him in as well. For however long that might last, he is a Toreador. As you wish. Dump them in the fountain. Let the water wash them off. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk out and uh, and proceed uh, and I take I take Malik with me to uh, to uh, dump them both in the uh, fountain. Okay, they are now in the fountain. There is a crowd gathering. <laughs> People seem uh, curious about this happening. Your what, old friend, uh, Yusuf. the Malkavian, is it... here. Uh, what? It's Lyosha. Uh, for the uh, yeah, him. poet, she apparently decided to embrace. <laughs> I, I, it's, not like, it's not like his name matters, actually. He's like he's a certain random person that just got embraced. Well, he doesn't he's matter not at all. random to her. She, he doesn't matter, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like a regent. Not the... Uh... <laughs> What the fuck uh, is this? I, Why do you have a Leisha in the fountain <laughs> staked? That would be her dis uh, breaking the rules and embracing someone that uh, she has not been given permission to embrace and uh, trying to join the Sabbat. You spoke out loud about the Sabbat. Well, <laughs> <laughs> good idea. Well, Fantastic. roll intimidation. Roll intimidation manipulation to play this up as a heroic achievement of you enforcing the masquerade and Camarilla and all that. Roll for it. Even as you hear aloud, Seraph. Whoops. From the I office. Forgot, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to uh, say. That. Whoops. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have uh, uh, mentioned. Uh, I forgot about that. I <laughs> think I missed. I uh, missed that part. <laughs> Roll manipulation that intimidation to see how well you can impress the crowd with this. <clears throat> well, I I suck at apparently I suck at everything every everywhere uh, uh, every all the time. <laughs> So you told her? Did you tell her about the Sabbat spy? I look, I look very shaken all of a sudden. Uh, uh, I, I may have slipped off from it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! Damn it! I really should have. Uh, I, w I could have been into myself. I know I'm not. That's the last part I did not say out loud. You know, this is probably gonna be your thing. I think. Getting dominated. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably going to be my thing. My for I I really need to get off my permanent willpower. <laughs> Not my permanent, my uh, temporary willpower. What's it at three? Four. You gave me the point. Yay! I die. No, I don't. Not yet, at least. She uh, tells you swim, nodding at the fountain, and you jump in. 
and the crowd laughs at you. Yay. Quite happily, the Bruja seems quite happy at this. I am a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could gift her the Sabbat spy. She might be able to bargain that to uh, save Alicia. It's probably a good idea considering the fact that you just sabotaged yeah. the whole mission. Yay! Oh, and by the way... Oh, and the... <laughs> the water uh, tastes <laughs> faintly of blood! I'm completely drenched! I'm completely drenched in my uh, in normal clothes. Uh, 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 happily enough, I didn't, cha I didn't have the time to change between my uh, suit <laughs> and my fi not nice, uh, my really nice suit. Uh, uh, there, if you... Uh, if you if you want, you can ha- uh, there, there is still the Sabbat spy that we- that we captured in, in the tr trunk of the car. Uh, uh, Spluttering uh, out water while speaking <laughs> this- Yes, essentially, completely drenched. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a complete total moron. She, uh, turns to you, Malk, and says, uh, get him. Now, please. She if I could drown, her. I'd probably do. i probably attempt to do so now. <laughs> Yay! Public embarrassment. Okay, I go and get the uh, sabat and just bring it in. That's the Toreador way. Complete and utter humiliation. Uh, at least I'm not dead, right? Wow. Well, <laughs> Almost like it, not like it really matters. You know you're still alive. Yes, there is that. Oh my god, fuck you, fuck you, Rafael, fuck you. What did he say? Also, my smartphone is completely ruined now. <laughs> you know, a well, couple there of went centuries... More cash down the drain. A couple of centuries from now, that will be great blackmail material. That's probably very <laughs> far-sighted. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. I just want to destroy. I uh, delete my smartphone now. Okay, so you just uh, hand her off to Cory, and he makes sure that she's secured in the office. So we can uh, head back to the chantry after that wonderful, wonderful event. You can grab a quick hunt if you want, but we should be wrapping up this session. Yeah, I'll be doing a hunt here. <sighs> Bacon? Niche? I really need to get, uh, get my shit together. Alright, we're all for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still not a botch. You're in your domain. Even if you're hunting near the chantry. You know... Actually, wouldn't my... Uh, wouldn't it be fine for me if I'm using the... I'm using... Uh, Romina. Uh, that's really, really low. Like, I remember you first uh, the first time, yeah, uh... Uh, you, you actually uh, said that you would it would reduce it by two. Uh, this is the first time I did it. Uh, yes, yes. Romina can uh, reduce it down to five. I Yay! Think. Okay. Okay. So you didn't botch. You managed to each find a victim. So, 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 happy fun times. And no uh, disease either. It's almost like I'm uh, partially succeeding with something. Incidentally, Chloe tells you that there were news about someone who got bitten by some strange animal in the center of the city earlier this, well, last week, really. Apparently, it got badly infected and they lost their leg. That poor, poor girl. Uh, and yes, I'm pretty uh, sure there was one that you didn't treat with Romina that you managed to uh, 
get infection on previously? I I might. It's just like I, we can check the uh, the the <coughs> uh, chat log anymore because we'd have no idea what what we would be rolling, uh, what the rolls were and uh, back then. But you know, it's probably not going to get traced back to you. But you know, Hopefully. if you still had decent humanity. Okay, the cigar There's... box. There's noticeably fewer cigars in there than there should be. The box is like two thirds full. As opposed to being like two cigars short, namely the ones you've actually used yourself. It looks like it, all of the ghouls might have been into them. Romina certainly is smelling faintly of <laughs> cigar smoke. This is Chloe, strangely King enough. Son, I'm blaming him. <laughs> They've been living the high life, buying new clothes, partying, smoking your cigars. <laughs> also, can I use my technology to fix fix my phone? That's been completely wet. Uh, it's completely wet now. Okay, uh, roll for it. Difficulty eight. Well, he hasn't yet. You just got back from mission. Like Bronson you... will refill your cigar box. Just calm your tits. He actually looks at you. Well, the money from Tobias's car is kind of running out. Let that be my concern. Also, do I succeed in repairing my phone? Well, then... Uh, sure. It, the uh, fountain wasn't that deep and it didn't get that wet and after you dry out the battery and the contacts there, it seems to work fine. Yay! So, Yay for uh, technology. what has each of you learned? Well, you shouldn't be ta uh, talk so much. <laughs> okay. I really shouldn't talk so much. Malik. Doesn't. What have you learned? It doesn't. It doesn't pay to let your freak flag for, fly. Namely, by licking <laughs> the bot people. <laughs> you know, you don't know where they've been. That's true. Also, I, if I if I hadn't been a, been a complete, I made a complete fool of myself. <laughs> by getting to myself uh, self thrown into the fountain, I've, I have asked to due to taking complete uh, taking command of this entire uh, everything. <coughs> you know that probably set you back, then back a little bit. Yes. Then, then I would have uh, asked for the uh, ba uh, badass point, but you know. <laughs> so no, I would be asking for badass point. Well, I was going to give it to you anyway, since you are. Uh did such a glorious job of fighting off a very dangerous assassin. Yay! So, uh... Three, three, and four, I guess. Unless you have moments you would like to recommend. Well, the uh, assassin actually uh, frenzied when he saw some mortals. He killed a child, healed up, and came after Serath. Since he had enough blood to heal up. And I ate a hobo. I got myself some blood, and I did, uh, so that I, uh, I did, that I could hopefully have survived at least one round. I successfully botched everything. Uh, but, uh, I didn't botch everything, but I didn't roll well enough to completely negate your, my opponent's attacks, so I failed. Died. Well, I don't die, but I was torpored. Now we're all blood, uh, now both me and Raphael are bloodbound, uh, two steps bloodbound towards the prince, which yes, is always uh, fun. please make sure to note that down somewhere so you don't forget it. It may come up in the future. For example, when he's dominating you. It 
in any case, yeah, I'm gonna end recording here and, you know, fun times. <laughs>